Hi, welcome to Farm Manager 2018. I'm Richard Hyperion. This is the Mega Farm. Uh, welcome to episode 17. And we've got a little bit of problems here. We've got fungus here. We need to get this sprayed. Ah, yes, there we go. Marcher sprayer finally came in. Alright. Well, we've got everything planted. We just have to keep it going. Uh oh. What's going on here? Teleport. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Tractor's a little bugged out, I'm not sure why. Well anyway, we'll we'll give it a minute, see if we can't get it uh get it unstuck. Cause normally you can click teleport and it'll jump it around and make it do what it needs to do. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Where's that other orchard tractor? Why do I have... I'm out, oh, I'm out of corn and apples. That's Why is it not giving me a zero instead? Let's... Actual corn and apples. Yeah, that's because we don't have any. Mm -hmm. Get a little more anti-fungus going here. Not worried about that, not worried about that. This tractor is uh, bothering me. Alright, well it looks like we're just going to be down a tractor. Because you have to save the game and reload it and everything. It's quite the pain. How's everything else looking? He doesn't, well, I guess he's still stuck working on this field. And I, oh, there he goes. It's finally for... Okay. There we go. Don't know why it went stupid, but it did. Money's recovering well after buying all that property, but like I said, our production facilities here are just rocking and rolling. Now that we've got this going, I don't think we're going to have a milk problem. we got to keep an eye on it. You know, it, we should never see it get up to 1,500. If we get 1,500 units of milk, then that means we're selling it, and we don't need to be selling it. This field here is just going to have everything wrong with it this year. Right, go take care of that. Let's get these watered. Right, we can get a good harvest. How's our wheat looking? Okay, these two need to be next. I love the automatic inseminator deal. I just wish they would get a uh, an automatic watering. You know, I, I think it should be something in research, though. You should be able to go through and research it to have, uh, you know, as long as you have a pump, you can have irrigation. So. Uh, how many sprinklers do I have? I must have a lot. Oh no, they look bad. Must water. No. Yeah, we don't want orchard tractor to get done. In the world, oh, they're using the little orchard sprayer. That's why it's taking forever. Okay. Oh, we got to get some water on these guys. Oh, rain. Yes, rain. Okay, there we go. Rain will help greatly. Air 
everybody is hurting for some water right now. Everybody but that one. Only looking nine days. Ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay. We got two ready for harvest now. All right. So let's get it harvested. Get our silos filled up. Get our our corn mills going again. Let's go ahead and get this cut while we're at it. This should pretty well fix all of our water issues. Nice big storm. So we got plenty of people, plenty of machines here. Uh, no, 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 don't care about breeding. Uh, nope, don't care about that either. All we need to watch are the uh, apples so we can get a bunch of seasonals to work them. Just in the summer, we're already getting our first harvest off. So I really feel like we could expand these these corn fields um, I think that's what I think that's gonna be our goal for next season we'll expand these 75 by 75 fields see if we can't get four more in there see how that does yeah. Everybody looking, yep that rain did its job everything's 100% all of our production and everything, cows and whatnot, are running good up here. We're still getting high on milk. We may need another cheese processing. Oh, oh there it goes. Okay. I only have one mower, so that field's going to have to wait. This one, the grass field's going to have to wait. Holy crap. Ooh, they're popping off quick. Harvesters are going to have to step two. We, we're there. We've still got two fields ahead now. That crop quality is going to start going down. As soon as we get the corn, the, uh, the mills start working again. Let's see it when it gets in here. Sprayer, get the big sprayer. Thank you. Oh, crap. That one has got to be harvested first. Because that, uh, that fungus will make that quality go way down. And that one's getting sprayed. That one's ready. Almost done with this harvester. I don't care about low amount of food. It's We have food. They'll get it up there. We have silage. We have corn. Uh, we have grass. So... Why the hell did he die? That's it's disturbing. I've seen problems with that before, but I mean, there's plenty of food in the barns. I'm going to get that raked up. We'll have to check that after the harvest. crap too much too fast right, he's getting that one done they're getting this one done see why in the hell are the, why see why is the health so bad for all of these I don't understand it 
They have grass, they have apples. See, I think something's going on with the people. Like, the building is kind of shorting out and they're not getting... They're not getting rested or something. See, now to go back to work. And I, I think that's just a little buggy, that's all. I think it's just a little bit bugged. Um, Alright, so the wheat's good. Grass is good. Cow shed 12 again. So they have plenty of food. I don't understand why they're... Okay, their health is coming up now. Okay. Whatever. I said, I think the people kind of bug out a little bit. And then, um... It goes them to go without food or whatever they need for a few days. And... Everything watered. Shit. I ran out of people. Cow shed four now. Okay, these are the people that I just, just took out and put back in. See, they shouldn't have hunger. They've got food. Let's cut that number down and see how it does. See if that helps. Maybe they can get back on top of it. Gotta wait till the little tractor gets done. That'll provide a lot. A lot. Come on, put my orchard tractor back up. Now oh, he's still watering that one, okay. Clear everybody out, let it go, put them back in. It's becoming a bit frustrating with those buildings. Do I have enough people? Yes, I do. Okay, go, 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 go. Now we should have plenty of grass. Yes, we do. Okay, we are going to pause and we need to buy some uh, silage. Let's buy 10,000. Okay. More corn was harvested. Wonderful, wonderful. Why do they only have frickin' apples? Clear, clear, clear. Autofill. Okay. I'll try that again, please. Well, it's not these guys. I'm not worried. This one's been the longest. Go, 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 go. 
Got another five days. Let's get some water on you. Shed 12 again. Like I said, these people just are not doing their freaking job. They're just not. Should have it ready by now. Must not have it parked yet. Now it does. Okay. Go get the rest of that corn. Corn mills producing? Yep. Just spot check them through here. Oh yeah, they're producing. They'll be grinding out for the next year or so now. Um, so you're growing again, you're growing again. Alright, we're supposed to be able to uh, shift click. Move this to barn, we're gonna move it all. Maybe that'll help the, uh, the situation. And this silage, nope, not what I want to do. Shift click. More, move it all. Thank you. Maybe getting the food closer to them would help. No. Now that everything is in this barn, none of these cow sheds, like this one, should not be freaking hungry. Just shouldn't be. Three people working, plenty of allowed food. Imagine that. Cow shed 12. Alright, we're going to get rid of everybody. And we're going to buy two. Oh, we each ready, okay. It's getting down to almost harvest time on the apples, which will be good. We'll get our juice factory going again. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Jesus. We not that I don't know why it always wants to use that's the orchard sprayer it should be using the field sprayer for the auto I don't understand that but whatever weeds are taken care of that's taken care of yeah they're hungry Let's see they freaking shouldn't be it's cow barn 12 again I guarantee oh yep it's 12 see why are these cows hungry and why aren't these people doing their flipping job Now five's got low food. Why does five have low food? Five is right next to the flipping barn. We have three caregivers that aren't doing shit. Back to work. Keep these guys getting bailed up here. That straw is not worth a whole lot, but it is something. Let's get a little tractor up. It's going to carry us over for two days. Then we're going to have to go through and uh, get a bunch of seasonals. And it seems like every year we get a little bit more corn and a little bit more corn, even though I'm growing less fields. Um, I guess we're just getting better at it, keeping them under control. 136,000 wheat, 57,000 grass. All right, now we 
gotta buy, we gotta get some seasonals going here. Oh, let's see. can be a part of it but they can't be except <clears throat> now we need another load of seasonals we're just gonna max ourselves out here okay. and then we're gonna do the same thing but no tractor drivers tractor drivers have to do those things and I found out as close as these are to the barn, they harvest just as fast without using the trailer, which is kind of crazy, but they don't have to, because, you know, with the trailer, the trailer has to drive back and forth and everything, and yeah, it works better just not to, not to use the trailer at all. Let's see, all the apples are going to go in here, and we'll move them up to the other barn. How you coming? He's almost done with the corn harvest. We're gonna do well over four hundred thousand, which is good. Good, good, good. Production's always good. Hopefully, it'll keep our mills running. Get the bales all collected up. So you look here at straw, it doesn't. So they've already finished one field. Yeah. Sell all that straw, get it out of the way, please. Thank you. Three and a half mil. You know, I mean, we're really not selling any of our harvest. I mean, we don't. You know, we turn the apples into juice. This one's cranking out apple juice. We feed the cows apples. Um, and they get fed wheat. That's why we have the wheat fields and the grass. And that's why we have the grass fields. Um, that's my plan is to keep up on these. Oh, this is a bigger field. Why won't you let me harvest? Yeah, that's a little funny. Not quite give me the button yet, but all right. We'll give it a minute. Hey, there we are. Okay, I want everybody but my tractor drivers. None of you people. Except. Good hard rain. Man. Well, been a very successful harvest. You know, we got plenty of uh, plenty of apples so far. The cows in the juice factory are just making a real short work of it. Um, you know, and we're growing the grass and the wheat for the cows because the wheat has a has a very long storage time, two years. Corn, not so much. Corn only gives us about a year. Um, so. We're going to get our grass going again. And we should be able to get maybe one more cut in on the grass if we do it quick. If we get it bailed up, sucked up, and get run, you know, ran through everything real quick, I think we'll be able to... Uh, to get one more cut out of this field. Maybe not out of both of them, but we should get one more cut out of one. 
And there it is. We are working our way through the harvest. All of our cherries will be ready next year. I'm excited for the cherries. The cherry juice is supposed to be supposed to be a large, large production. You know, a lot, lot of money. So, should be a good profit on it. See, they're making great time on this just by doing it by hand. So, and you look at it and see they've only got a couple of trees left, and they're done. Still not done with the bailing on this field yet. Uh, sell this damn straw. It's useless and it just takes up space in my barn. So. I'm not just selling cows to make your. Oh, uh, 91,000 apples. Okay. That should keep our juice factory happy for a little while. And our cows. So I'm glad we're only running one juice factory so we don't completely destroy the apples. Because um, the cows do enjoy them. And it seems like since I moved all the food up to here, we're not having the, uh, the issues with the, uh, with the cows going hungry. So we are going to... Uh, nope, wrong thing. See, I want to do the same. Do we have enough room in here? Yeah, we do. See, I want to do the same thing here. Shift click it, move it up to warehouse one, move them all. Thank you. One of the animals escaped. Alright. Let's take a quick look around the property and see if we see it. Could be anywhere. Uh oh. know what that is but yeah I'm not seeing a cow anywhere Oh well, looks like we just lost a cow. That's all it's going to be. Unless I just so happen to go across it. I took one look, I don't see it. Falling behind here. Not sure what was going on there. Keep getting a funny uh, notification. So glad we don't have to worry about the inseminator anymore. Makes it so much better. Yeah, it seems like these two barns are too far away. And by moving all of the food to this barn and this warehouse, you know, the apples and then the, uh, the silage and the grass to this, uh, this barn they seem to be able to keep up so maybe that was the issue I don't know see cow shed 12 
she's not recovering. She's not working, but she's not recovering. Where is she? Uh, working at the large cow shed. She's delivering milk. Teleport. Don't understand what the issue is. You know, why is the health so poor just on these cows? I don't understand it. I want to get rid of you. you. You got five out of five skills. You're going to work in this building now. And this guy doesn't even have. He has tractor skills. He doesn't have animal skills. See now, see now. Look, her 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 strength, her stamina is recharging. I don't know, something buggy going on with the employee thing, and I'm I'm not sure. It did a little bit before, but I'm just not sure what causes it. So they have two animals, and they can't keep two animals healthy in a cow bed and a cow sh shed built for forty. So, let's see. So frustrating. That's what makes you want to kind of steer away from the animals. I mean, most of them, it's like two cow sheds that are they're not working properly, but... You gotta go through and get all these things renovated. Looks like everybody's wore out after a long season. I think we need a, uh, uh, what do you call it, like a mechanic on site, you know, that you could call to, uh, they would just constantly do this, that would be nice. You know, if you could hire a maintenance personnel and put in a maintenance shed so that they would just, you know, keep the equipment maintained at all times. Okay, all that's good. Box trailer needs a little work. All that looks good. Already doing that one. Cultivator's good. Precision cedar, okay, that's the only thing there. Those are all good. Uh, those are all good, and those are all good. Go over to the other side, look at the other garage. Both of these combines are good. Both of those sprinklers are good. Okay. Well, all right, Tim. Well, that pretty well has the harvest. I'm going to uh, push on a little bit. Two, four. Okay. Date's not right, but all right. Ooh. So, appreciate you joining me for... Uh, episode 17 here in our big harvest and you know we got all of our production I think it's pretty well set uh, this is the proper size cow shed 8 gets sick cow shed 12 just kills all the cows see look, look how low their life expectancy is that shouldn't be that way they're only getting apples why are they only getting apples reset everything now go to auto manage. We have plenty of weight, plenty of grass, plenty of silage. I don't know why they're not auto managing properly. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was a food thing that was causing it. I don't know. But either way, they do not have anything but apples in the cow shit. Why is that? There are three people. Three people here. And nobody can bring food to the freaking cow shed? I mean, it's got roads. Roads all the way around it. I mean, it's completely boxed in with roads. You have good roads here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, appreciate it. That was the uh, that was the harvest, and we got a you know quite a good harvest over four hundred thousand corn, one hundred sixty something thousand apples, 
Why is our milk going through the roof? Our milk should not be that high. We have one, two, three, four. Come on. There you go. And five large uh, milk processing plants, and they can't keep up. I mean, they get 500 units of milk at a time. So we just sold. So I don't, I don't know. Do we need more, maybe? Nope. See, there it goes. I just took all of it. So, I don't know. I guess sometimes we will end up selling a little bit of milk, but uh, it'll be what it'll be. And our juice factory is cranking it out. Let's take a look at our financials real quick. Let's, let's take a quick look at our incomes from, let's talk about last month. All right, the apple juice is doing well. 4,000 units, $33,000 last month. That's good. 20,000 on the goat cheese, 11,000 on goat meat. Uh, the yellow cheese is still just a straight out front runner. You know, almost, you know, 558,000. 362,000 on the cow meat. And the flowers coming in last there at 135. 135,000. Well. Maybe we should do more cows and more milk. More juices. I mean, the juice did very well. You know, look at the amount that we produced. So, maybe that's something we need to look into. You know, we did end up selling 17,000 goat's milk that was not turned into cheese. And that's like twice. We don't have near enough. We don't have near enough production from the from the uh, milk plant, from the milk plants. So, I think we need a few more milk plants. That's probably what we'll work on in the next episode. But anyway, appreciate it. Thanks for the show, and we'll see y'all next time.